Today I'd like to talk about power supplies. Right now, this cell, this cell right here is running on um, two large batteries from my truck through this cable right here, which is a fairly large cable. It says it has uh, 25 ohms. Uh, I think that's what it says. Anyway, it's a six gauge cable and it's about 12 feet long. Let me show you the, the output here. I'll actually take some measurements and I'll post it in the more information and I'll also post it on my um, on my blog. And as you can see that's um, fairly unimpressive. Right now we've got 12.2 volts and 5.9 amps at 120.9 degrees. Okay, now what I'd like to do, I'm going to try to match that 12.2 volts. Now remember, we're, we're at 5.9 amps. Okay, I'm going to disconnect the battery. Perfect. It's got 12.2 volts. We are now drawing. I'm going to let it settle down for just a second here. Okay, 11.7 amps. Turn this back down. 11. We're up to 12.1 amps now at 12.4 volts. It's still fairly close. And as you can see, this is a much better performance. Now, I have no idea, other than maybe internal resistance or well, the resistance of the wires, but that's got wires going on here too. So, uh, the internal resistance of the battery possibly. But it seemed to me, if you take Ohm's law, you've got a certain number of ohms here, and it would create a certain amount of amperage going through it. But obviously, we're getting quite a bit. We're almost double, double the, the amps here. Um, and that's only because I've got a, a power supply that was well, a 200. 25 amp power supply. It's set on 50 amp maximum right now, and uh, I'm I'm guessing that's what it is. But anyway, I, this is this uh, I'm running this test because I, I want to show the importance of a good power supply. I mean, you have to be able to um, get something that's close to the to the engine running the alternator and, and you know your your car system so anyway i hope you'll visit my blog and i'll post, I'll post all this information on my blog and also on the more information